In this video, we are going to discuss about the books that you can refer for the IMAT exams. These are the books that I used in my preparation to get a good score and hence getting into a university in Italy. But before jumping upon directly to the books that you can refer to, I want you to give a reason to refer to these books. Let's look at what IMAT wants us to know. What is IMAT? IMAT is an entrance exam that gives students access to study medicine and surgery in Italian medical school. The minimum requirement for medicine and surgery program is 12 years of education. So it's clear that the question in IMAT would only include the topic that are taught in those 12 years of education, specifically in the subjects related to medicine, that is physics, chemistry, biology, and maths. IMAT also includes question on reading skills and logical reasoning because they are good indicators of IQ. Let's now analyze the previous year trend to get to know about the difficulty level of the IMAT exam. These were the questions that were asked in IMAT 2024 and these were the questions that were asked in IMAT 2023. By the following example, we can see there is a difference between the question asked in IMAT 2023 and 2024. Question asked in IMAT 2023 are much more lengthy as compared to questions that were directly asked in IMAT 2024. By this and by understanding the purpose of the IMAT exam, the difficulty level of IMAT is unpredictable. This unpredictability ensures that people with clear and good understanding of each topic are able to score good. Hence, the most important priority of an IMAT applicant must be to get deep knowledge of each topic in every subject, especially biology and chemistry. These are the books that I used. I would also recommend you to use these books. For biology, I used Pearson's biology. The full name can be seen in the screen. So if you choose to refer to this book, you can leave topic like the whole ecology unit and you can just skim over through the topic of plant regulation and function. These are vast topics that are in this book, but you can skip them if you are preparing for an exam like IMAT. I was actually preparing for a different exam and then I got to know about the IMAT thing. So I was reading chapters from my core book, which I refer to for that another exam. And then when I completed reading the chapter from my book, I used to refer to Pearson book. This made me understand the topic in much more clarity. This is not the book where you just see the topic and you memorize everything. This book is designed in a way where you would understand every topic in a good amount of context and a good amount of relatability. Now let's go to chemistry. For chemistry, you can refer to this book in the screen. You can refer to the following book. For chemistry, for IMAT, there are certain things that you need to keep in your mind. The most important part in the chemistry for IMAT is the physical chemistry. And these are the most important units that you need to study very thoroughly. The important topics are mole concept, atomic structure, thermodynamics, equilibrium, ideal gases, chemical kinetics, and redox. For inorganic chemistry, the most important topics are periodic table and its trend, chemical bonding, acids and bases. For organic chemistry, though organic chemistry isn't a lot in the IMAT exam, but still you need to go over through a bit because there can be one or two questions. The first priority should be completing physical chemistry. For organic chemistry, you should have the basic knowledge of IUPAC nomenclature, isomerism, general organic chemistry. If you are having problems while preparing for the IMAT exam, you can get in touch with me through a one-to-one -one guidance call where I would guide you to your personal doubt through a 60 to 90 minute video call. Your doubts can include anything related to the IMAT exam, or the pre-enrollment process or choosing a university or strategies for specific subjects. For Indian students, if you are an Indian student and you need assistance in documentation and you need personalized academic guidance, you can fill the form below. For physics, you can refer to the Cambridge International AS and A levels. I would like you to keep in mind that for physics, in accordance to the IMAT curriculum, you don't really need to get into depth of every application of every concept. You have to just go over through every basic concept and know how you can apply that concept in solving simple questions and you should know formula to every simple concept. For maths, you can refer to SAT Math for Dummies or Cambridge International AS and A levels. Maths is the kind of subject which is not very high yielding as compared to subjects. So in maths, I would suggest you should just start over with SAT Math for Dummies and then move to Cambridge International AS and A level book 
only if you are confident in other subjects and you have revised them thoroughly only if you are confident in other subjects and you are able to do questions from past years coming to the part where i would like to discuss where i did my question practice from these are the following books that i used for question practice these are the following resources that i used for question practice i used imat previous year papers very very important very necessary you cannot skip them Tolk met previous year papers. These are also very important. I would not really recommend you to skip them. Also used BMAT and TSA previous year papers too. At my time when I was giving the IMAT exam, the question solving part of BMAT Ninja was actually for free. So I was able to access that. I'm not sure about this year, but last year it was free. So I was able to access that. That's it for the video. And if you need any help, you can write in the comments or you can get in touch with me through that one-to-one -one guidance call.